What's up guys, it's Sam. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about float fishing and where you wanna put your skill points here. So you can see that I'm only at a 62%, so I did get some data from other higher level players who have a little more experience in the float fishing game for later game, so that I can pass that on to you all. Um, so in looking at float fishing, similar to how we did with bottom fishing, there's obviously points you wanna put in it initially, and then points you want to go back to and, and remove later on. So um, what I'm going to tell you is very similar to bottom fishing. As you begin to level your float fishing, you're going to put three points into this pretty quickly so that you can begin to get more bites more frequently as according to the description that it, it has, very similar to bottom the basic bottom rig, where if we look back at basic bottom rig, it's going to say technique of fishing with a simple bottom rig plus 15% as the technique improves, the probability of catching fish increases. So you wanna put your first three points, I, I don't wanna say first three points, but the first three points you have to spare to put in float fishing, depending on how often you're using it, you're gonna put into a fixed line. The only points you're gonna put in beyond that are gonna be once you get to match rod. You don't, in my opinion, you don't wanna invest in Balinese rod. You don't wanna invest in telescopic rod. Um, you, you don't want to bother with those until you get to match rod. One, because you only have one skill reset. You're primarily going to be grinding to 60, most of you, with the telescopic rod. And you'll have a Bolognese rod but and, and Bolognese rigs, but in my opinion, these are a lot more difficult to utilize than the telescopic rod when it comes to grinding until you get to your match rod. Now, once you unlock your match rod, this is very similar to how I talked about utilizing your points into your feeder fishing rods. Over time, you're gonna drop a point or two in here. Um, you don't have to try and save up seven points for your match rod, but over time, as you have a point or two to, to drop, you're gonna drop those into match rod. Now, the skills you're gonna invest in longer term are gonna be waggler and bait fish float rig. So you're probably gonna keep fishing with a fixed line, possibility you could reset these skills in the slider rig so you could fish a little bit deeper places like Kuori. Um, but currently with the lakes that are in the game, it's, it's difficult to fish in the currents and fish those deep holes. So slider rig I don't think is as valuable as actually what, would, what fixed line would be currently. So for me, I would say fixed line until you begin to get to um, waggler, you're going to put three points in your waggler. This is primarily for fishing bear a lake when you're fishing for carp. Um, and then you're going to put three points in the bait fish float rig, just like we put three points in a bait fish bottom rig. From what I've heard, these are really not that great um, from the higher level players I've spoken to on the other servers. So when you look overall at how many points you're going to put into it, you're looking at three points here. Over time, you're gonna spend seven here, but this is gonna be really late game, probably into the 30s by the time you spend these, unless you're primarily only fishing uh, float rods, and I don't know many people that do that. So you've got three points here, over time seven here, three points here, and then three points here. But this is gonna take a long, long time, a long time to get this, so don't save your points for these, because it's gonna take you forever to get them. But three points here is a very good use if you're even only fishing one rod, it's worthwhile to put the points here. And then over time, as you begin to get additional points, you can put them in your match rod. And then as you begin to primarily fish more with your float rigs, throw them into waggler, and then you're gonna throw them obviously into bait fish float rig. But I would not use any other points um, in these other methods and unless you wanna consider slider rig only really for Kuori, I think is where I would use that. Um, there is mention, that I would give to the fact that you can use slider rigs to help you find some of the deeper holes on some of the lakes. That's one thing I would I would use them for, but I don't use it as a primary method of float fishing. I just stick to the fixed line. If I do have to get deeper on Kuori, I can use the slider rigs. Um, and you can catch fish that way. I just think slider rigs a little more difficult to use. And I'm not patient enough to wait for that rig to drop down to depth every single time. So... Um, so with that, those are the points you're going to use for float fishing. If you have any uh, feedback or you know you want to help some new players, you can put some comments below on the ones that you guys use. But I will tell you that's 
um, commonly considered the most important skills that you're going to have in float fishing. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.